The oldest anarchy server in Minecraft is a chaotic place. A place where Minecraft's game mechanics are turned upside down. When you have a no-rules environment, players will do everything they can to gain an advantage over others. This is why hack client usage on the server has gone up since the server began 10 years ago. When you think of players hacking in Minecraft, you probably think of speed hacks, or tracers, kill aura, criticals. But for 2B2T players, that's not enough. They use every single tool at their disposal to get ahead, and will go to extreme lengths just for a slight advantage. This includes using hacks that to a normal player might seem useless, but to a seasoned 2B2T player are insanely useful. Hacks that fundamentally change the way Minecraft can be played, ranging from special combat hacks, to rendering exploits, to hacks that I can't even put into words. Today we are taking an in-depth look at some of the tools being used on 2B2T that would be considered useless by the majority of the Minecraft community, but are must-haves for seasoned anarchy veterans. Let's begin. Hole ESP is a hack that highlights one block holes in the ground. To a normal Minecraft player, this would seem absolutely useless. But to 2B2T players, this hack can mean the difference between life and death. What Hole ESP is actually identifying are safe spots that will protect you from end crystal explosions, one of the deadliest weapons utilized by PvPers on Anarchy servers. You see, in Minecraft, a player's hitbox covers their entire body, but the bottom half is more susceptible to explosion damage. This means that a crystal will do full damage if you are standing on the same level as it. If you move one block below where the crystal is placed, it will eliminate almost all of the damage. So to win in a crystal fight, it's better to have the low ground than it is to have the high ground. If you are being attacked near spawn, Whole ESP will show you safe places to stand so you can be in safety for a few moments to make a decision and calculate your next move. There are three colors that signify how safe a spot is. Green means the hole is surrounded completely by bedrock, making it the safest option. Yellow means that part of the hole is made with obsidian, so while it's explosion proof, it can be mined out by other players, exposing your lower hitbox to explosion damage. Red means the entire hole is made of obsidian, including the block you are standing on, making it the riskiest of the safe spots to use. Regardless, any of these three options are safer than being out in the open, where you'll get torn to shreds by crystals. Even having an extra five seconds of safety eliminates a lot of the stress that comes with crystal combat. But be careful, standing in a safe spot for too long will give your opponents time to react or even trap you but whole ESP is an example of a simple hack that seems useless at first, but makes a major difference in the right hands. Mob Owner is a hack that does exactly what it says. It allows you to see who the original owner of a tamed mob is. Why is this useful? Well, this hack is incredible for 2B2T base hunters and historians. It's useful because even if there are no written signs at a particular base, you can still find out who the base belongs to if there are tamed mobs nearby. Being able to see who an abandoned horse or donkey belongs to can leave a trail to a much bigger prize. It has also led to some very interesting situations. For example, three years ago when I made my pilgrimage to the world border, I spent a few weeks there traveling along the border via horseback. I tamed several horses out there, took the best one that was available, and left the rest. All of it was done off camera, so nobody could have known. Well, a few months ago, when 2B2T player ePearl was streaming on Twitch and was exploring the world border region, he stumbled upon a group of horses when this happened. Let's see who these are tamed by. Oh. That is quite a find. He had found the exact horses I had tamed from three years ago. Without the mob owner hack, there would have been no way to discover that these had originally belonged to me. Just another example of how useful this hack is. For base hunters and historians, this hack has helped unlock the secrets of many forgotten bases and places.
No Sign Render is a hack that makes all text on signs disappear. It's client side only, so the text is still there, you just can't see it. This hack would seem to be the most useless one yet, and to a lot of players, it actually is useless. But for the people such as myself that make content on 2B2T, or live stream it, this hack is incredible. Allow me to explain. Six months ago, I noticed that I was getting stream sniped far more often than usual, meaning players would find my location while I was streaming and usually attempt to kill me. After two streams in a row of being discovered, I began researching how it was possible that I was being found so quickly. Well, it turned out that the massive world download that had been taken of 2B2T spawn region that extended 50,000 blocks out in all directions included sign data. If I passed a sign on camera, it was possible to enter that text and find the exact coordinates of the sign. I had to make sure not to show signs on camera anymore if I was going to be in the spawn region. And additionally, while streaming, there's always the chance that you stumble upon a sign that flat out says the coordinates of your current location, such as highway markers. No sign render eliminates both of these problems, making it far more difficult to be tracked. After taking these precautions, I have not been stream sniped on my main account during a live stream since, proving just how useful this hack truly is. We're only halfway through the list, but if you're enjoying this video today, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. A lot of people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. No pressure though, no pressure. Anyway, let's continue. The story behind the anti-weakness hack is unique to 2B2T. You see, a while ago, it was discovered that end crystals cannot be detonated by hand if a player is under the weakness status effect. The reason for this is that weakness lowers the amount of damage you can do by two hearts. Crystals can only be destroyed by dealing at least half a heart of damage, meaning that punching crystals with fists or items becomes useless. Anti-weakness was invented as an addition to auto crystal. If the hack detects that you're under the weakness effect, it will automatically swap from crystals to a weapon so that you can still blow it up. Your overall damage per second will be lower but it's better than being defenseless. This highly situational hack is just another part of the unorthodox arsenal of 2B2T players. Anyone that explores the end dimension knows how annoying shulkers can be, especially giving players the levitation effect and causing them to rise up. But on 2B2T, this status effect is actually a problem because it interferes with the server's anti-cheat plugins. Sometimes if you are under the effect for too long, the server might think you are fly hacking and attempt to kick you. If you don't have priority queue, it means having to wait hours just to log back in, only to be potentially kicked out again. Anti-levitation will make it so that you remain on the same Y level when you are hit with the status effect, allowing you to avoid the anti-cheat kick. Another example of a subtle hack that 2B2T players use in a very specific situation. The final hack in today's list is probably the most bizarre to the casual observer. Chest Aura will cause you to briefly open and close any chest that you come close to, and also works on shulkers and other storage devices. Now, why on earth is this useful? Well, it's useful for stopping anyone using an illegal weapon such as a 32k sharpness sword. You see, for the longest time on the server, illegal weapons could only be swung by keeping them in a shulker or hopper nearby. I'm not going to explain the technical details, but essentially, any illegal weapons inside became reverted back to normal if their container was opened by hand due to an anti-cheat plugin. So if someone put down a shulker to try and kill you with a 32k, you could use chest ore to open it and cause the weapons inside to become useless. It became the best defense against anyone attempting to kill you with one of these when you least expected it. A seemingly useless hack that saved many people on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. And this list today is just an example of some of the seemingly useless hacks that are actually insane when used properly. The overall goal of them is to keep players safe. And speaking of staying safe, when dealing with 2B2T and the internet in general, it's important to keep your IP address safe and protect your privacy. There's no easier way than ExpressVPN. When I use it, it helps me browse the internet anonymously and prevents me from being tracked. 
It allows me to mask my IP address and also lets me access content in other countries that I wouldn't normally have access to, such as Netflix content and even certain YouTube videos. I personally had to use the VPN just so I could watch Doctor Who on Netflix, which isn't available on the service in the US. It's easy to use, has lightning fast speeds, and has some of the best data encryption around. Find out how you can get three months for free by going to expressvpn.com slash fitmc. And thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on when new 2B2T content and Minecraft content is coming out. But that's it for today everyone, take it easy and stay alive out there FitFam.